This is Ricky the Hitman Atten, and you're watching Lights this Out. This is Fessel Khan for Lights Out, proudly sponsored by Spartans Law. Massive shout out to Ben Shalom, who's taken this time to give me an interview. Ben, thank you very much for speaking to us. Ben, just been announced, Lawrence O'Coldy's next world title fight live on Sky Sports and Boxer. Talk to us about it. So excited. Lawrence O'Coldy is, is just such a talented fighter. A fighter that so much is interested in, so much interest is in, especially after what's been going on the past few months. When we, when we managed to make a deal for that fight, it was going to go on the Tyler Cattrall card. Cattrall's fallen off. We're going to Manchester. Coley will headline, and yeah, looking forward to it. Very exciting times for Lawrence. Does this mean you're going to be working long term with Lawrence Coley? I, uh, I'll, I, let's see. Of course, it's something that we're planning on doing. It's, of course, it's something that we want to do. Um, he's got a tough test in March. He can't overlook that. David Light came through against Brandon Glanton when many people didn't think he would, including myself. And uh, it's a tough fight, especially with a new trainer with Sugar. A lot of things made with Sugar Hill and, and Lawrence licking up. So this is a tough test, the first, first one. But I expect Lawrence to be able to deal with it. I think this is his year. And he won the Unify. And he won that fight with Richard Riappor. And he'll want to move up to heavyweight afterwards. It's going to be, hopefully, the start of something very special for Lawrence. Well, hopefully it's going to be a very successful year for him. Ben, has there been any update in terms of a rematch between Chris Eubank and Junior Liam Smith? What can you tell us about that? Um, I think we'll know in the next week. Liam Smith will have a massive fight. We'll know in the week, next week whether it's Eubank Junior. Um, we've seen the elbow stuff, which is what led me to believe they must be looking for a rematch because um, I wouldn't have expected to see that anyway, uh, otherwise, so um, we'll see. And nonetheless, another reason to be very excited this weekend. A lot of people are talking about Adam Azim in a tough fight against Santos Reyes, 7-0 and versus 12-0. and What type of a fight is Adam in for on Saturday, uh, Saturday night and how happy are you with the progress that he's making? And have we really got the next Amir Khan in boxing? I think we've got, I think we've got something extra special. The reason we have to move in quickly, the reason we have to headline cards is because he won't accept anything else. He looks at Javonta Davis, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney and says, why am I not considered up there? Obviously, because he's only had seven fights, but that's why he needs to move quickly. He wants to headline. He wants to be talking about European titles this year, September. He wants to be thinking about world titles this time next year. This is a big test for him in Santos Reyes, WBA Latin champion, defended that belt as well, never been beaten. It's easier for us to bring in international well-ranked opponents than the British guys because the British guys don't want to get in the ring with Adam Azim. It's as simple as that. Uh, one, one final question before I let you go because I don't want to take up too much of your time. You are the man that gave us Khan versus Brook. You've had an outstanding breakout year and I've been very impressed with you. But how, what have you made of your progression and what else have you got to learn and what can you improve on as we move on into the, into the next stage of 2023, Ben? I think it's just a different phase for us now. I think the first year was a breakout year, as you said, it was signing a lot of fighters. Now it's about the progression of who we think are going to be the future stars of British boxing, whether that's Adam Azim, Caroline Dubois, Ben Whittaker, Lauren Price, Fraser Clark, Karis Artingstall. There's a lot coming through. We'll be judged on how well they do. How well can we progress them? Lawrence Ciccoli going for unifications. Richard Riappo won in his first world title. Dan Aziz, Savannah Marshall, Tasha Jonas. It was breakthrough year. Now we've got to do the best for our fighters. Now we've got to take them to that next level. And uh, that's why it's a different stage. It's, it's a more exciting stage rather than running around trying to sign fighters and do big fights last minute. We want to, we want to build the, our guys and we want to make sure we deliver for our fighters. We want to be helpful in British boxing and working with other promoters. And um, yeah, it's uh, definitely a different year ahead, but a much better, more exciting year. Ben, thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate it. Hopefully you get to speak to you for long on Saturday night. Yeah. Top Cheers. Man. Thank you. Top Cheers, man. Man.